made for my birthday uh, in July, and it just completed it. I think it's the most beautiful carving I've ever seen, and I'm very grateful to Dawn. For some of Dawn's carving. Go back again. Okay, this is uh, Jennifer, my sister's daughter, and Christopher, my sister's son, which is a lot of work. <laughs> and this is my grandma. Hi, Uncle Jim, Uncle Ben, Uncle Alan, Auntie Gemma, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, <laughs> thanks for my grandma. She knows everyone. I don't. Okay. Hi, Daddy Sherry. Thank you for the nice one. Sure. Hi, Jennifer. And I'm Lori. Oh, did they send the no, car no. Okay. <laughs> Brother and his new hot bike. Hi, everyone. <laughs> That's my new bike. Um. <laughs> Get close. Okay, this is my grandson. My grandson. Move closer. This is my grandson Earl and my granddaughter Monique Wright, and this is Christopher, my great grandson. Son. We're just now getting around to. Uh, taping all the videos that we've taken over the last year and the pictures that I took when I was in the Sioux. Hope you'll enjoy them all and enjoy your holiday with Mum. Or Mum will enjoy her holiday with you. And I wish I was there with her. Have a nice summer and hope to see you soon. All our love to all of you. Bye for now. <laughs> That's right. I dropped the kids off at the Greyhound bus and they went to Yogi Bear Camp. And there are Mrs. Peppin, little Mr. Peppin, big Mr. Peppin. And they took off. How's the dentist over there? Sorry to come on out and we'll do a little bit of homework. Mom, go stand with Auntie Jill. Go walk over there. Take that. Do, do you hear the voice as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, everything. Hi, Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> this is Cousin Laura and Cousin Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. <laughs> is she coming? Yeah, she's going to come. This is a beautiful here. Laura, it looks so lovely. Yeah. Or are you going to go with Jim? Oh, I'm going to go with Jim. Good luck, Sylvia. And the number. Good luck. 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 Is now making. Hey Susan, let's see. Yeah, let's see what you're doing. Oh, can you see? Yeah, what are you doing there? Okay, I, there, I've sir. got the. Stand I up. riced all the potatoes on top of the flour, and you no, just you kind of guess, kind of here. a bed of the flour, uh -huh. and then, and then you try to try and make a dough out of them there. <laughs> and you just have what? Equal this? amount flour and potatoes. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say clean it by ear, and then like see how it feels. And then when you go to roll it, uh, you'll know if you need more flour or not. If this is the biggest part, I think, right now, is blending it all in here. You know, and then you just work it for how long nice. will that take you, or you don't know? Oh, gee. 
We can have a flower in blend in Yeah, it. like a doll, like a pipe doll. You'll see, it'll come out into a nice little ball, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. I want to toss over. Sam, now. what's your name? Do you uh, have Me? a video? Yeah. Sherry. Yeah, yeah, how old are you, Sherry? And, has has and who's Kevin your has grandma? They all have one. one. And who's your mummy? Hmm? Who's your mother? I wouldn't bother. Judy. And who's your papa? Alan. <laughs> Sorry. What about uh, Mr. Pep? You got to take him there? Yeah. You know who Mr. Pep is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think it is? A video camera? Yeah, you're on video. I want you to meet my children. Can you tell them your name and who's your mother? And who are you? My name is Alan Nature. Yeah. And how old are you, Alan? No, Terry, you're going to ruin my picture. Now. I'm eight years old. Yeah. And, what? and I'm in Tila. I play for the Sioux Fighter Fighters. Mm -hmm. And I you haven't got your baseball uniform on yet. I know, because I'm going to table today. And it's uh, July 2nd, 1991. This video was taken on that day. July, yes, right. Thank you, Alan. Bye, boy. Okay, hi, Sherry. How are you? Good. Are you watching TV? Say hello to, say hello to my children. Lori. Lori. Uh. <laughs> Alan. Alan. Uh, what? Kevin Christopher. Christopher. And Monique, Sean, and Kevin. And uh, uh, Monique. Uh, what? Sean and Kevin. Sean. Uh, and Kevin. Yeah, and Uncle Don. And and, uh, uh, and Uncle. He's my uncle. Well, I don't know. He's your cousin. He's okay. my husband. Cousin. What's your name? Don. Cousin Don. Kevin Don. Oh, and Earl. Cousin Don and Cousin Earl. Right. Thank you, Sherry. Hi, Rich. Well, uh, you say that again? Use your natural voice. Fox 50, Kittle Fairy and Pirates. Just now, and I'm starting the booklet. Bye-bye. Hi, Alan. You're on record now with your baseball uniform. Lift your, lift your, I'm up to that. Lift your cap up so you can see your face. He craves it. Lift your cap up. To the, <laughs> lift your cap up like this. Okay. None of your idiots. Even up. Okay, show them how you play the ball. So, what team are you playing tonight? For so many days. I don't know. And what and position? What position do you play? What do you play? Two firefighters. I usually play second. Oh, that's good. And are you, do you like batting or do you like pitching or what do you like doing best? Batting. And I played it nine times. Good. Okay, you, go stand with him now, Sherry. Are you good in school, Alan? Oh, just could you pause it? This is our story. No, I'll say it, Alan. I'll say it. Okay, this is... I used to be on G. Verde Lodge. G. Verde Lodge, and it's like a team. It's called for lions. And I like... My number is eight, and it's right here. And um, I was on it two years ago, and, like, it's a fun team, and I won a cup of it. And, like... You can like um and I'm usually pitcher for that team. And um this year I'm on sports merchants. You're catcher, not pitcher. I know, but last year <gasps> so, uh, this year I'm on sports merchants and that's the company and I'm gonna get my shirt in two more weeks because I just joined and it's a green sweater and it has sports and merchants like here. And it's a green shirt, but you have to supply your hats and all that. And um, I'm going to be pitcher when I'm uh, in sports merchants this year. And uh, my coach's name is... Uh, um, Weez. What? Weez, Mr. Mrs. Weez. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Swire and Mrs. Mrs. Weez. 
and uh, one more, and Mr. Uh, Coley, and he's a good coach of mine. And um, sometimes I'm back catcher. When I go and pitch the ball, I go like this, and this is my glove. See, and that's my glove. That's my glove. <laughs> and you catch it, and uh, when the ball comes to you, you have to go overhand with the pitcher, and like you have to throw overhand. And when the person, and it's a hard ball because I'm in softball. And last year I was in T-ball. And I'd uh, like to, say, I'd like to say hello to Jennifer and all of them. And Laurie. Thank Jennifer, you. Jennifer, Laurie, and Christopher. Laurie and Christopher. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye for now. So the end on June and on uh, July. The second we play against first choice him or something. Thank um, you very much, Alan. One more thing. Uh, um, uh, on Jul uh, July last year, July 19th, and this year I started for sports merchant, uh, no, no, June uh, 1st. Okay. And I'd like to say okay. goodbye to everyone, to my cousins it's and your, all that. Okay. Oh wait, my I'm name is Sylvie Ball. I live at 82 Chippewa Street, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Um, I like to dance and roller skate and skate and they go. Were, were grade four. I'm in I'm in grade four, going into five. I'm nine years old. And who's your mom? Who are you? My mom is Sandra Paul, and my cousin. I'm my dad. I'm a diabetic. I take needles twice a day. Okay, thank you, Sylvie. Let's meet her grandfather. There's her grandfather. Okay, what do you have to say? from Ontario. From Lake Superior. Okay, I'm going to go over to look at the lake. You can, oh, I see that yeah. little trail there, eh, that yeah. goes, oh yeah, oh yeah, that would be nice to do. Yeah. with uh, two horses and the three boys up at uh, Gooley River, and that's one of the camps. This would be uh, before the Second World War. 1938. 1938, he says? Oh, yeah. Three men and two horses. And that's where Jim Gideon has his camp today. It's a great big mansion full of windows. There's a big Indian chief who let somebody come. Yeah. This is a... Uh Modern. This is entertainment. No, this is fast forward. Right there. The neck and you carry the. If my neck there will go. Come <laughs> over here. We'll let you dangle from this end. <laughs> <laughs> here you are. Hold on to that. Start. <laughs> okay, this is a bell that our fathers made in Italy around the turn of the century. He was a very very little person. And that's how come he came to Canada because he had a tree. <laughs> Yes. 
There's a warming on uh, where you warm the beds. What's the rent? What's the rent day? The day they paid the rent, I guess. Yeah, I can start. A favorite diversion of winter months was the caribou dinner and dance. Officers and their wives often crossed the St. Mary's River, which was ice covered. Cutters, carryalls, and sleighs were used. One was always welcomed at the air. Ermitinger home and many pleasant hours were spent with him. That was in the year 1823. 1823. Susan. 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 In the meantime, Sylvia's is Sylvia's taking your pictures of all the family. <laughs> 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 yeah, what's your yeah, I saw that too with you sweeping the driveway. How are you sweeping your driveway? How do you sweep a driveway? <laughs> Good thinking. So how long are you going to wear these beautiful braces? Is that it? Oh, I mean, yeah, it yeah, so we just sold this I don't want it at all. I mean, oh, oh, I think it's really good. Oh, no, no, I want it on the Anything else you like to tell? All your cousins out west. Do you like living yeah. up here in the north with the winter? Yeah, what's your favorite sport? It's really, really. Yeah. And what other sports do you play? Oh, do you do skiing here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever do that cross country? Helen just had her 70th birthday party um, Saturday. Last Saturday. Okay. Hi. 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 This is uh, my name is Phil Skazafave, and this is uh, Mark, our son, and my wife Mary Pat. Hi. We're in Lansing, Michigan, and we're just up to the Sioux for the 4th of July holiday. And uh, we're going back, and uh, we work in Lansing, and uh, have to be back to work on Monday. But uh, we had a chance to get together with everybody for, uh, for this get-together we haven't done in years. We haven't seen Sylvia in uh, 40, years, so 40 years. 40 years. No. Mary and I have been married for 12 years. Our other daughter is behind the camera in what? bed nursing four uh, removed uh, wisdom teeth this Monday. Oh, we'll get a picture of her later when she's maybe feeling Mark better. Can, maybe Mark can tell you a little bit about what he does and where he goes to school. Yeah, hi, Mark. Oh, I see what he said. Oh, yeah, it's that video. Of course, I see. Jamie? I'm trying to get into the video. You're doing your mom's dad's news since I saw her. Mary, what do you do? Well, I do. I just hate the video. Yeah, what does a mother of this many kids do? We're doing a dental hygiene. I'm a uh -huh. And you're also a grandmother, which is hard to believe. Come here, Jay. Just a little quick picture. Uh, daughter's 22, who has a um, favorite pool. Here's my 
Oh, good. Here we come. Here's our other dog that just graduated. High school is going to Michigan State. Hi. And what's your name? I'm Jamie. She's not talking too well. No. I went some teeth out. Four of them. Major pain. Right. What are you going to do now that you've graduated? I'm going to go to Michigan State and I might become a nurse. Oh, that's nice. How many years will that be? That'll be four. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you too, Jamie. Nice to see our friends and relatives from BC. Yeah, and when are you coming out our way? As soon as we can. Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, don't wait that long. No. Don't wait that long. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we now? We are Bramley State Park uh, in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And what lake is this in the background? This is Lake Superior behind us. And uh, this is a day campground and an overnight campground. A lot of Canadians come over here to camp. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, Come on, Sylvia. 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 Okay, blow them out. Oh, I didn't make it. No, but anyway, you brought it. You already made it? She brought it. She brought it. Auntie Bear, blow them out. You better blow them out. Oh, I have to blow them out. Yeah, she wants to blow them out. All the kids can help blow out the candles. Oh, hi. Auntie, you're on board. because I couldn't figure out whose birth date was. Really <laughs> I know, everybody <laughs> sat there. Nobody was singing that first except us. No, no. We were the only ones who knew. Wait, don't cut it yet. I'm going to take a picture of it. Susan knows. Doesn't that look Well, because I told her this morning. Yeah. Here, we got sparklers for all the kids for What's birthday. For oh, I should have put a sparkler oh. on the cake. Wait, yeah, yeah that'd be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra? Jim yeah. Napoleon? Yeah. Ray, 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 yeah, I've heard him, and you know my cousin Sandra? Hi. You've met her before. And this, oh, is, so this is my Aunt Columbus. Good picture. Hi. You've met her before. Yeah. This is Anna's yeah. husband, so Jim. I remember this plant. I always hold it down. And then we can put some of that big wood on, even though it's wet, it'll dry, yeah. won't it? It'll dry, yeah. We'll put those logs on. I'm going to help you, Mike. Yeah, I'll help you, dear. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, oh. I think you and I can ready to go on some other. Oh, 
Hi, Sherry. What have you got to say? I have a note for you. Okay. To leave, um, to leave to say to call. Okay. So here it goes. Yeah. Two cousins, Sylvia, Downton Smith, going out of faith. I hope you had a nice visit in Sioux, uh, in the Sioux, Ontario. I hope you continue to go on trips and have fun times with your friends and all that. Good, good luck in the future and to all. Have a safe trip back to British Columbia. Hope to see you soon again. Maybe I can come and visit you. Love from Sherry Manson. Thank you, Sherry. That's a lovely letter. Thank you very much. Okay, go. We're at the Antlers in Sault Ste. Marie. My cousin told us about Kitty's place. And it's well known for its steak and seafood. And um, we can read this tonight. No, they can go in. It's okay. Look at all these all around. 
that bridge or was it a joint uh, effort? Joint.
the Whiskey River in Brimley, and it goes out across the highway, up that way, and um, I forget what it turns into up there. On this side, oh, on this side, it turns into Lake Superior. It's called the Whiskey River because there's so much drinking that goes on up here. <laughs> Remember the kids used to jump. We had a big high, the old-fashioned bridge. And the kids used to jump off the bridge into the river, and it's very dirty to me. And there's um, a lot of deadheads, the fish, and a lot of trees and stuff in it. But they never care. Family, beaches. Um, what you're looking at straight in front of you is going out around the bay. This is kind of like the bay. If you can tell on the water where the brown and the blue start, the brown is part of the Whiskey River out here, and the uh, Lake Superior is what we're on right now. And um, these are just cabins. These are your or summer cabins. These down here are just retired people. And the sand is and so the sand, beautiful. Yes, it's so fine and clean. I don't know any of these people down this area. And what you're looking out there is Birch Point, and then across the way is Canada. And if you can see the opening where the sand is, that's the airport. So Uncle Allen's farm is just to the right of that a little bit. Dog, which is just a, a one that goes through the um, salt lakes, and then the other one is the ore carrier. over. The Canadian bought it and he could, the only thing he could do was use the same thing that was there. He could never replace it with anything because the lot is too small. So he did that stupid well, Electricity, all that, I kept thinking, oh yeah, yeah, no way would I ever stay there. But after being there, like um, beams through the center, I don't know, if, oh there's some over there. candy still. Kids get a quarter a day if you want to come. <laughs> you can go to the store and buy all you want for a quarter. Yeah. So, there was two cabins and they've joined them. Made one. Hopefully Mark's coming tomorrow. Well then I'll be tied up for another few days. <laughs> but eventually we'll get together. I'm going to cut it down. This is my mom's sister, Columba. It just seemed to, yeah, to go. Yeah. Too bad. The ground, I was just... Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Did you read the thing there? was for the Indians, they felt that their dead really never died and they would feed the dead through that hole. 1881, this one. Here's, this is all Smiths. And this one here <coughs> died 1879. Weep not down, weep not down, father. Mother, sisters, dear, I'm not dead. I'm only sleeping here. Look at that again. Yeah, see, sleeping. Yeah. Bernice, do you want to say hello to everybody? Oh, hi! <laughs> Wish you guys could all be here with us.
beautiful lake, the two eyeglasses with the nose piece in the center. And you can't see it from here, but over to the left would be Spe Monaco Lake, which is just the one, like a uh, single glass to view through. And out behind the trees there, that's all Lake Superior. And the green that you see on the other side is Sioux, Ontario. And if you go over this way, when you come back, that's what I was just going to say, when you come back here to the right a little ways, I don't know if you can see, but if you see the white ball, just to the right of that is where the airport is, so the farm is just to the right of that a little bit. Freighters going down through the lock. See, they're going right past my place, down Lake Superior. which is where they have um, the agates. And so you can start from here. A lot of people come here and look for agates and stones and things like that in this, in this beach because they have stone all the way out. It's different. Their sand is white like ours, but it is a different um, base because mine's just all sand. Oh no, it says record right now. And then they'll say in a minute. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, Jake. Um, you, we kind of upset your reading, hey? You, you look up like this and you wave like, well. If you were here for another day, we could go up to Tacoma Falls. You guys would love that. Where? Yeah. Tacoma on Falls, but that's another hour. No. Great grandmother. Yeah. the homestead, Gemma's homestead, and I'm her daughter Susan, and I'm going to tell you that it was built in March of 51, and you can see where they're sitting, Auntie and Mom. Uh, that's a front porch that was built on maybe in the last 10 years. If you look at the house proper, where the peak is, that's the original size of the house. The back part was added on when I was about 14 years old, which provided me my own bedroom. Yahoo! <laughs> Great. And and uh, it's a very comfortable place. Okay. Thank now you. instead of a one thank bedroom, you. one living room, one kitchen, it's just a little dollhouse. Now it's got two. It's great. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, right in front of us is the original home that was built by my grandfather, uh, Aunt Columbus' father, Primo uh, Giuseppe Galina. And if you go to the right, just pan to the right, and you'll see my mother's house coming in here. Now, that was the end of the property where my mother's house is. And now we're going to come back this way. And where the house is in the middle, that was like a, a, an empty lot. And we're coming this way in this nice new big home. 
And at the end of that home, was the end of his property here on First Avenue, and it went out to the back as well. And this home was uh, all stucco on the outside, and as you can see, they've got uh, the siding on it now. It looks quite different. There was a nice big tree right above here. Next to the sidewalk, there was a big tree. Do you remember that, Sylvia? The big tree by the sidewalk? No, I don't. I don't remember the sidewalk in the front. Well, there was no sidewalk. Yeah, there just the driveway. There was a the big tree there, and then um, this was all garden. And I remember it all garden and the chicken and house and yeah. the barn in the back. Yeah, and where they're standing now is where the barn was. So they've done a lot of yeah. uh, work and they've changed it uh, around a lot. <laughs> the street, they were two inches high in uh, the summer of uh, 81. They're good sour cherries. Where'd you get them from, huh? You know, it's like the Stone, uh, I think the basin was built in 1927, and the stone came from the locks in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada, when they were building the locks. And my father brought it here by the load with uh, two horses and a wagon that he built. He built the wagon and the sleighs, and he did a lot of things. He could do a lot of things. This is the same stone that was built on the basement, and it came from the locks in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada, when they were dredging to build the new locks. 1800s and the early 1900s, that's when the lock was built. I 10th, 1991, Sault Ste. Marie, Canada, and I am visiting, my sister Columba is visiting with her daughter, Sylvia, and this is my little girl, Savannah Banana, and this is Sherry Berry, that's another granddaughter. Three generations. And uh, this house was built by Primo Joseph Galena, he was born in Crocetta del Montello in August of 1879. His father was Isaac and his mother was Rosa. His father died when Primo was very young. He became a bell cooper. They were poor. Susanna Moreto was born in Crocetta del Montello in April of 1879. Her father was uh, Giovanni Battista, which is John, John the Baptist. Her mother was Maria. She had three brothers, Julio, Pino, and one more. She had a sister, Genoefa, and Esther. The father built each one a house of stone, two rooms down and two up, like a row of houses. They were well-to-do. One Sunday, Joseph went to church in South Susanna. They liked each other very much. They courted for eight years. She could not marry Joseph because he was poor and she was well-to-do. So John the Baptist told Rosa, we better let her get married because she was getting too old. He got married and went to live in Joseph's house and had five children. In 1908, Joseph was able to come to Canada because he had a trade as a barrel cooper. <clears throat> he first went to <clears throat> Sioux Lookout, Ontario, near Thunder Bay, and worked in the meat factory. He was then sent to Sault Ste. Marie to work in the Sioux Falls Brewery as a barrel cooper at seven cents an hour. He then went to the steel plant at nine cents an hour and became a third class engineer in the old boiler house. He called his wife, Susanna Galena, here from Italy in 1910. By this time, the first three children died of diphtheria, Fausto, Amelia, and another Fausto. Susanna came here with Maria and Ugolina. They first settled in the west end of the city on Cathcart Street, next to Holy Rosary Church, now called Mount Carmel. Their firstborn in Canada was Albino, then. 
Joseph then bought five lots on First Avenue for $100, each 33 feet wide by 120 feet long, called Buckley. He first built a huge barn where Gino Lino, uh, called James, was born. They had two workhorses called Pete and Kelly, and one mare called Lou. Lou was a racehorse and acted as a taxi for transportation. Primo Joseph was a jack of all trades. He made his own wagons, the rim of spokes and sleds. He shoot his own horses and had a forge. He then built a home at 375 First Avenue with the help of two friends, Augusto and Adamo Zugat, for $200. Adamo was quite a character. All he did was swear. All he did was what? Swear. Oh. Boy, good <laughs> day, swear. <laughs> So they built two rooms downstairs and two rooms upstairs, which is the front that you now see. Seven more children were born. Albino is Ben, Gino Lino is James, and Tao is Alan, Ada, Columba, Noemi, Gemma, and Elsie. On Saturday, Primo would hitch up a team of horses, and he had the three boys, and they would go to the farm to clear the land to plant hay and oats for the animals. When Primo Joseph was 50 years of age, he had to quit working because he was crippled with arthritis. Alan Dante Galina, the third youngest boy, was the only one that supported his parents until they died. And so they put and all Gemma their property too. and estate in Alan's name Judy? at the right time, at the same time. Primo Joseph Galina died in 1956 at 77 years of age. Susanna Galena died in April 29, 1960, at 81 years of age, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Thank you. What do you want me to say? No. Uncle Alan's name is, is Cudivante, not that. Well, he oh, probably well, got Dante for short. Maybe he's got three names instead of two. <laughs> or, yeah, who was Fortunato? Was I Fortunato. think it's probably Ben. I don't know. <laughs> And it's nice to have you over here with us, oh, I'm, I'm And she's going to come back again next, next year, year. with right. Don and Sylvia and all the boys and all the kids. I, I can't promise that. <laughs> and, and we'll buy a hotel <laughs> because I'll probably win some money. <laughs> Three months. Well, and you guys could come to the Sioux, you know. Uh, next uh, BC? next summer. BC. Yeah, I mean to BC. Yeah, where am I? I'm coming. I'm yeah. not making any commitments. I'm gonna well, go. Susan's oh, yeah. gonna try and bring I'll you. Give you a good you're time. gonna go. Oh no! If you're coming, you are. You're gonna be here. I guess I can't come because I. Can't well, they could come for two weeks, and then you could come back with them. That's an idea. Because, mom, you have all kinds of holidays too. I'm always on holidays. Yeah. <laughs> you're not taping us, are you? Yeah. Of course you are. <laughs> That's what we could do. We could kidnap Gemma, and take her to BC. That's an idea. I don't know. I'm well, that's well, a I, long away, that's, but we'll plan on that. Yeah, we'll work. Okay. Okay, is that your family? And when, when, you. when they first built this year, this was all bush and farm, and we had tote roads and muddy roads, <laughs> and the wagons would get buried up to the hub. And in the back of where my mom's house is, the reason why her garden is so good is because it was all swamp land. Yeah. And Uncle Alan said they almost lost a horse in there yeah. one time. And oh. Kelly, right behind this yeah. house over here, Kelly, your Kelly went into the swamp. And we had to pull them out with ropes around Put his neck. Put your head up. Put your head up. And one time when I was a kid, there was all bush around here in the back. And I went in the back one day, and there was a bunch of Klook Klook clans. Oh, you're kidding. No, a bunch of what? Klook Klook clans. No, Klook Klook clans. Yeah, what they were they doing there? They were having a meeting and in mean, the bush back here. they have a fire, too? And we used to pick frogs oh, over in the remember, creek. Remember you told me about seeing the gypsies? At the oh, yeah, fire? the gypsy was the corner of Core Road in the Wallachie well, Karachi. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the stairs in England. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we used to well, go, there was a big creek in the back here. And we used to have to go and pick frogs for my mother because she would cook frogs. Frog legs for Papa. Frog legs. No, no. Yeah. no and, and, they were they, and no one else would eat them. <laughs> and they're very good. Oh, yeah, I know. Delicate. And Wallachi Tarachi is Wallace Terrace. Yes. And, and there were uh, gypsies over there. You remember them, Papa? No, I don't. Yeah, there were gypsies there, and they would tell our fortunes for two cents or three cents. <laughs> they, they were real gypsies. <laughs> they, they conned us all Did the time. Did they tell you your fortune, Mom? Oh, I guess so. I don't remember <laughs> And I worked in the steel plant during the war, 1940. 
40. Yeah, on her bicycle, she would go on her bicycle and she broke the spokes off and going over the um, track. Real track. And I'd bicycle in the winter time because I never got up in time and I'd had to get out of the house <laughs> and run to work. It's a good thing that the, the steel plant office was Away. And it was. Yeah, this, I'm going to look at the steel plant now because it isn't oh, that yeah. far from here. Oh, well, that's a tube mill that you see over okay, there. Okay, that's it. And they built those what big coffers. And this is for like hammer. Oh, isn't it? Say they that again, the guys. See the tube mill that you're seeing right now? Oh, the yeah. The big copper on top has just been yeah. built in the last oh, maybe 15 well, years. Like and what they do is they take the raw oh, steel from Oklahoma Steel, which is to your left along the waterways, and they bring it here and they make it into tubes. Manuscript tube, it used to be called. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look how close it is. Yes, it is. And you so get they up live in the with morning, all that pollution. You get for up so in the morning years. and there's soot all over your car. Yeah. Yeah. It Still? used to be anyway. Yeah. Well, not now as that bad, the no. uh, the steel plant is much better, and apparently whoever takes over this, they were talking about it. They've got a major bill in in environmental pollution controls. Apparently, Algoma Steel is the biggest polluter, bigger than Stalco and the others combined in southern Ontario. This is what I just uh, heard last night. Oh, really? Yeah. The name of your farm? That's Jennifer right there. I know that. That's Laura. Is that their baby sucking on us here? Which one? The uh, one right in there, the background? The one that's yeah, wait, on wait till she comes up here and I'm going to. Uh, she's going to come right up here. Then I'll take the little girl. Sherry, you were well. taking the gate apart on that end. This is where you open the gate on the team. Come on, Sherry. Come on, girl. Come on. And who's the uh, little calf behind her? Yeah, I gotta... I gotta That's Lori! Her little calf. Sherry's baby is Lori, eh? Oh, yeah. Strong boy. <laughs> there she is. How old is she, Uncle? How old is she, Alan? Eight weeks. Oh. Oh, she's strong. Where's Jennifer? Right here. That's Jacqueline, her grandmother. Where's Jennifer? She wants to know. Right here, the spotted nose. Jennifer, yeah, she's got the, the spot on her face. Right here, right here. Jennifer's right here. Okay. Where's Monique? And Monique is uh, the farthest one over. Right here, right here. This is Monique, right here. Hi, Monique. And what's that little calf's oh, name, oh. Alan? That right. there's uh, Susie. Hey, Monique. you're closing Sherry is. That's Monique's little girl. Let me pet Sherry. Sherry, come hey, here. Okay, which one? Who are those now, Uncle? This is Monique here. That's Jen. That's uh, Marnie, and then uh, Jennifer. That's uh, now that's uh, Jacqueline, and then Jennifer now. This is Jennifer right here. Yeah. That's Jennifer. No, this is Jennifer. I mean, yeah, this is Jennifer. Hi, Jen. Oh, I this is Jen right here, right here. No, no, it's the other one, dear. Oh. And who's this one? That's uh, Oh, that's mine? <laughs> I have another two. See my legs, Matt? See? The legs. Come here, Matt. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You're right, only I think theirs is a bit fatter. Yeah, really <laughs> There's Lori, the little one. Aww. Look at his tongue sticking out. It's Lori, it's not a he. Well, she was sucking, that's why. This is a male. No, it's a male. What's this, Lori? That's Lori. That's how Lori is, too, very active. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
That's what Lori's like, Uncle. She's very active. She's hungry. Okay, that's Lori that's, yeah, that's, that's the one that tongue looking at us with a white face. Yeah. Her tongue is sticking out. Yeah. That's Lori. Okay. Now Susie in front of Lori. Yeah. Oh well, Susie's coming here. Oh, they have pretty faces, haven't they? For beef, though, aren't they? These so he wants what, the what we started out with was a uh, milk cow, and she was the great, 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 great grandmother, and her name was Jessie. Oh, yeah, and she started all this. She lot. started this through artificial insemination with yeah. the herpers, and uh, event every once in a while you get black in there, or a, a one that's black and white, yeah. and it goes back to the grandma. Big. See this one here? Oh, yeah. She's the oldest. And you can tell by the size. Look at the neck on her. Oh, yeah. You know, like you, she steps on your foot and it's broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of beef. But they're just kept for breeding most. He's not going to butcher the big ones, is he? Eventually, after they get so many years and you have so many calves, then he uh, lets them go. But it's usually the bulls that are, are, are slaughtered young. Now, this is. Uncle Alan is in his glory. These, this is Uncle Alan's family. When it comes time for bringing them to slaughter, he doesn't want to be anywhere around them. Oh, look at this <laughs> What one? The big fat one? <laughs> see around me. I'm just seeing what I'm looking through. I missed that. Your mom smacked me in the arm. <laughs> Pardon? Okay, sure. Sure, that'll be nice. No, I have lots. Milk this 
she has. I didn't say Bernice was bad. I said, now, do you see the old barn there? That's the original barn that Nono built. Yeah, that's 1931. Uh, that's the second uh, Hey, now there's just Sherry and the And then Alan added all these other little things, sheds. All these other apartments. Okay. <laughs> and this is the house now, and who built the house? Well, that's the original house with a high roof. This is the chimney. I built the back and all these other shacks. Beautiful. Now They're just beautiful. See, when their tails are growing like that, the flies are very bad. They're switching, eh? Yeah. Taking the flies off. So they go in the barn, and they don't. The flies don't go in there too. Well, no, I spray it, eh? Oh yeah. There's patches. Here, Pat. Here, puppy. Hi, Dad. Watch him. He always, when he comes up to you, he automatically rolls over because he wants his belly rubbed. Now make a liar out of me, Pat. Just lay him down. <laughs> He'll do it. Yeah. See that? You just love that. Patches is getting old, eh? Yeah. How old is he now? Fourteen. Uh -oh. yeah. He's really old. But he's well taken We're care of. So. We're the same age. <laughs> You're the same age. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. In dog years. How old is he in dog? Close to eighty. No, it's 28, years old. Come with yeah, the picture that I painted up here. Yeah, she's the, the one that's outside over at the gate. Oh, she the drew one that I, too. Eh? She drew that, but I painted it. Oh. Yeah. Where, where you, is, oh, you mean the original one still at the gate that I no, drew? No, Susan uh, oh. drew that about 10, 15 See years that, ago. That hayloft, eh? That loft on there? Oh, Uncle the Alan and I used that to take the truck and go through the fields yeah, here, and um, we put the hay on the back of the truck, then he'd bring it up to the back of the yeah. barn, and I'd sit on top of the hayloft, and Uncle would throw the hay up to me, and I'd push it, pr pass it back. Today, for a treat, for all that work, I got target practice with a 22 automatic. Oh, neat. That I enjoyed tremendously. That was fun. It's in 1930, and, uh, and we didn't finish the barn until 31. And we had horse. This, this, to drive the team right in here, where they open two doors and drive them in, because there's no position here. That's where the cows are. Yesterday. Couldn't find a breaker. It just stand back on the light, so... Okay, there, just take a picture of it there. Okay, what am I taking? Well, show us how it works. Yeah, eh? What is that? That's an old incubator, but how does it work? I'll, sh I'll show you. Okay. You put the, it had the cold oil lamp that threw the heat up here, and this was full of water to make steam out, and it, and it, was, it had a big, uh, it had a, a, a thing, a, a thermometer here, as you can read it. If it was too hot, you open this little slot, the air come out, and if it was cold, you you turn the coal oil lamp up, and you fill this with water every day. And the coal oil lamp, I lent it to somebody, and the kid didn't bring me the coal open oil lamp. It, open it up and show her on the camera, like you did earlier. Okay. Yeah, see? Now explain that. Okay. Okay. That's where you set the eggs in here. These were little wrenches for... And the brush, I don't know what it was for, to clean it. Different brushes. And, and, then and you turn You put it the eggs in there, and you... 36 egg incubator, Buckeye. Nani, come here. And then when, you, what did you have to do, turn them every hour or every day? No, just every day, once a day. Uh -huh. Turn them, half a turn. Next day, turn, so that they got evenly hot. Instead of getting cooked on one end, if you left it there for two days, it would get cooked and the little chick would die. How long would it take? 21 days to oh. 22 at the most. And, and what if the egg wasn't fertilized? You wouldn't know until... Oh, we knew that before. You candle them just with a light like that. Yeah. You put an egg... Uh, you can see that uh, when they're fertilized, they got a little wee tail like that. Oh. When you look at it like that, and you can see it... Inside, though, on the yolk? Yeah. No, you can uh, see a tail. On the, the, there's a little air cell, if you notice on the egg. Yes. And, and, and on that, you'd see that little wee tail about that long. And you knew that they were and fertilized. Then they, oh. Yeah, you, you had to know process. because you didn't want to just put any eggs. No, know. that's true. It they just, just go rotten or something. They would just, yeah, get hard boiled or. What, Auntie? Oh.
I was telling her, Susan, that's an old gas can. I was telling your mom that Lena used to play the harp, Ada played the violin, what did we play, the cornet, Elsie played the guitar. Did you have lessons, or how did you learn? No, um, Elsie, Ada had lessons, and Lena had lessons, and Jim belonged to the Navy cadets, and what he learned there with the cornet, he came home and he taught me. Oh. And I still know how to play. Uh, oh, gee, I'll come to you later. But I remember Nona had a water tank on there, Uncle. Well, that's the one. That was it. It's got the hot water tank. You can't open that. Where's there. the water tank inside? Yeah, it's inside here. Oh. We, we did that with our fireplace. We have a water jacket oh, in our fireplace. Thing. See, this used to be here, Susan. Yeah, I remember that. So that uh, made it look bigger. See, Why did that have that there now? What was it for? Well, you put the towels in there. That's right. Yeah. You have this here. And, and you put the towels in here to dry. And, yeah, uh-huh. Uh and you can't even open So now, have you, have you got all these? You put them in oil or something? To I was there fixing them up. That, that, that was the old mouse trap Dad made for mice to go in. And they couldn't come out. Oh, yeah, because the, the way he built it... And the nails couldn't... The nails are on the inside, and once <laughs> they went in, they yeah. couldn't come back out. So right. that's And this is all thing. the horseshoe box. So right has here. bread in it. This is a horseshoe box with the nails in there and yeah, everything. So are these the, the tools that Nono used? Yeah, this was for sharpening the side. I've still got the side. That sharpens it? Well, you put the side, you took the side off the handle and you put it on there and tapped it uh, with a little hammer. The hammer's in the pump house. And this, you said, was for clipping the, the nails? I, I still clip the cow's nail uh, feet with that. And this is a courier, right? Yep, courier. I curry comb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hilling potatoes. And also for digging potatoes, you could do use it for three different things. You made the rolls, you could widen it out with this handle here. Each handle had uh, a, a purpose. No, Everything stiffened up, I guess. Well, there. Yeah, there needs a bit. Oh, it's working. And uh, this oh, is yeah. for the, this is for the wheel. Uh huh. See, the wheel would go up when you. Well, there, there. Jennifer you put it down, and when you finish the end of the row, to go around to the next row, and you could widen this out. To make it whatever width oh, you want it. working now. Yeah, you could widen oh. it out. Do you, use, you don't use that. You have and to pull there's back. also another set of plows in here for, for hilling. It's in, they're in here somewhere. And what, would the horses pull that, Uncle? The little mare pulled. The whipple tree went in here and pulled. And there's the shafts off the cutter I'm going to show you. See the, the green shafts there? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it still works. Don bought an old stone like that, and he wants to make it up and put it into something. Well, that's good. But that made you sat on there and just paddle your feet up and down. There's another... another oh, I see. There's pedals, eh? Another paddle down here, see? Oh, yeah. And that there would uh, make these here arms work, but it's all... I got that uh, What on. kind of tools would he sharpen with that? Well, we hired the mower knives for the mower and uh, axes, everything. It's going like that. You can see where I cut Didn't them. Papa make those? Yeah, there's another one there. There was another one in the other barn. And there's the old crossbit saws. And the, you, you still use the original old, old size. I use so it shows different. how that, well made they are, that's eh? That's my old horse mower. And here's uh, more stuff. Here, here's the corn. It had, uh, look at that for old. Nobody makes them kind of. <laughs> oh, ski poles. Yeah, they were handmade too, eh? Yeah, they were Oh, my goodness. You filled uh, the oil here, coal oil. Oh, and, yeah. And you flopped it back, and then it, it run into these pipes, and then, of course, you could, you could take this off and turn the shear and uh, light it. You 
puts that back on, or you could lay it from here if you wanted. Yeah. And then you turned it up, but it's nothing working now. You see everything's rusted away. Yeah. We still used a coal oil uh, heater on our boat, Uncle, for the oh, longest time. Yeah, yeah had, because you can't use gas or yeah, propane or anything. Now they got in the garden front end loaders. Oh, and this is the cant hook for load, rolling them up. Yeah. And this was a uh, PV for when you're in the water, you push them like that and then roll them and uh, got a long handle, eh? No, it's yeah. <laughs> For tying, bind, a log binder. We call them bear traps. So where was the logging done? Just on the farm here? Right like here just to take clearing. All that lumber you see on my buildings all come from the bush. Yeah. Everything is made here. <laughs> yeah, good crop of peas from your garden, eh, Uncle Allen? And they make delicious stewed peas. Yeah, that we've been eating almost yeah. every meal. They're just delicious. to go home and read my instructions. Were you looking at me? So, uh, I should have given you a gift for going, a, a souvenir. I wanted to go downtown, but I was, no, I, I'm going down Thursday, and yesterday, I, I just thought of it last night. I said I should buy a gift. No, Uncle, I don't need a just gift. A I'm going to have all these pictures that are going to be more than enough souvenir. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you cabin. don't spend the money. I didn't spend anything. Oh. That's why I give you at least ten dollars. Should give you twenty. <laughs> Uncle, no. <laughs> oh, are you going now? No, he didn't. Oh, it's too bad. <laughs> 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 Uncle, you can't do that. Oh, 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 you can't do that. And I loved your family picture so much, I'm, I'm going to do that for Christmas. Okay, I'm going to take one from there, just in case it doesn't work. Uh, oh, no, uh, now you can take one. Hi, Sylvie. Sylvie. <laughs> okay. With so oh, well, wait, we want Sylvie and I in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, no. I'll take that one. Look at Sylvie. I'll take that one. Okay. Hi, okay. Sylvie. Hi. Okay, just now. I have to, I always get my buttons wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, start talking. Hi, Eno. Yeah. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Uncle Dan. Hi, Hi everybody. Auntie Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Hi Sandra. Hi. 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 Hi to everybody in Richmond, yeah. D.C. Okay. Hi, Mom. From Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And this is my niece, Sandra. <laughs> my nephew. My sister in law Julie, my brother Hi. Dan, my niece Sylvie, my my nephew um uh, <laughs> What's his name? And I
Be rough or calm or what? The sea is rough and and the sea is green. Are you looking at a boat out there? What boat were you looking at? A sailboat? Um, there's a white sailboat and the clouds are getting yellow. Are they? And where are their seals? Uh, where are the seals? Are they on danger reef still? Seals all gone? Where'd they go? I don't know. They were uh, looking for something to eat? I think so. Oh. What were they doing earlier? Was one winking at you? What? No. Yeah. One was winking at me and yeah. one was waving at me. Really? From Danger Reef? And you could see them through the telescope? Yeah. Oh. This is my papa's telescope. 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 Right. And that's my papa, that's my grandma, and that's my brother, and that's my mom. And I'm still with Uncle Kevin. With my daddy. I'm still. My daddy's upstairs too. And where are you? I'm just in Grandma Sue's cabin. Oh, just waiting. I ain't gonna call. So what are you gonna do? Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, Sean was in, in, in Kevin's car, and Kevin was driving, and Tia was in there, and, and I was in there, and Tia's the dog. <laughs> and what happened next? And where were you guys going? And, and we were going to McDonald's for lunch, so. No, we were in there, too. And Lloyd was in our train, so was I. So, so we drive to McDonald's, mm -hmm. all the way to McDonald's, and then, and, and then Kevin started speeding to Vancouver game. <laughs> and I said, well, well, we're we, we, uh, we have a man here uh, uh, speeding, I said that two times. <laughs> well, that's my dolly, and upstairs is my other dolly, and this is the telescope, like I already tell you, those are the windows that's the fire stove. And there's a lot of things around this cabin. Like what? For example. Like, well, there's juice in the fridge, pop in the fridge, possibly that. Okay, thanks for your That's all for today, folks. And that's my brother's bunny on the table. Okay, maybe we'll record your brother for a few minutes. Because he's been busy talking. Where are you, brother? What do you have to say? He's right here. He has his bottle in his mouth. <laughs> that's all you have to say? That's all you have to say for yourself. We're recording. Uh, hey. Don't get me in. Yeah. He don't really come. Come and sing to him, Jennifer. 
Come and say hey, dumb diddly. Hey. Hey. Hey, how is that? Christopher. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Wash your feet. Hey. Jennifer, come and sing to him. Well, come over here with Grandma. Christopher. Jennifer, do you want to say hello to Sylvia and Sherry? Okay, can you? Grandma and Grandpa's cabin. What's the name of this island? Ruxton Island. Ruxton Island. And it's mostly where? Vancouver Island? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How did you get over here? I... Uh, I, I came on Papa Don's boat, as you can see, and the <laughs> water over there. <laughs> Uh-huh. And how did you get, didn't you take another boat, too? Did you take any other boats? Did you take a ferry boat? Yes. When was that? Oh, just, <laughs> just when, uh, A couple Saturday. days ago. Saturday. And what else have you been doing on Vancouver Island? We have a green and white tent. What do you see? A deal and a baby white butterfly and caterpillars. And squirrels. And what is that again? Oh yeah, slugs. Slugs. Did you ride on a slug? You didn't? You didn't go slug riding? No. Oh, they weren't big enough over there? No. I'm going to put some slug sauce. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not slug sauce. <laughs> In the soup? Sure. Along with sugar and chocolate? Slug sauce? How about chocolate sauce? Chocolate sauce sounds better. Did you put some in? Nope. I didn't put some chocolate sauce on my... I put some chocolate spice in. Okay. Okay. Is that your chocolate pile there? Yeah, this is mine. Yep. Again, to all these people? Can you introduce everybody again? <laughs> Who is this right beside you here? This is my brother. I'm Jennifer, that's my dad, that's my mom, that's my papa, slow, slow, that's my slow, grandma, slow. and that's my uncle 
oven, and he. Why do they look so and dark? He's not very funny. <laughs> it's really looking Maybe dark. Push the back light. Is that better? No. no. I have some. <laughs> he's Uncle Kevin, and I have an Uncle Sean. And what about Uncle Kevin? He's. And where is he? He's right there. Well, maybe Grandma Sylvia can see him. No, she's fine, but he, but... <laughs> and he's wearing a blue jay hat. Where did he get the blue jay hat? Do you know that? And Auntie Elsie. Yeah. Can I look in? Okay, Ma. Can I look? This is my mom. We're getting camel films too, Mom. Now Papa next. Hi. No, no, no. No, no. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, look at your mom and dad now. Can you find, can you find that strange uncle of yours on the camera? Yeah, I will. I want to find my strange uncle. Don't film. Put your hand there, please. And where are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the boat. The two boats. One up there and one over there. Carnegie Hall. Okay? Okay, what? This is the back view of our cabin. I want a telephone. Okay, you guys take hi, Jennifer. Day. Hi, Lori. Say hi to the video machine. I sure like your swim outfit. Say video machine, she is doing okay. He's okay. He is okay. This is my cousin Molly. And what's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer oh. who? Jennifer Rose. I'm her cousin. From oh. Costco. Yeah, Jennifer Rose went off to. From Costco. Jennifer Day was from Costco. Hmm. And Lori, do you want to say hello to my cousins? And their names are Lo or, um, Sylvie. And say hi, Sylvie. Sherry. Hi, Can you Sylvie. Say? Hi, Sherry. Sherry Dallas. She can't say those names. Can you say hi to them, Lori? Hi, Sylvie. 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 Hi,
Are the assistants ready? Come on, where's Cat? Where is Come on in, come on in. Come on in. Goodbye, Grandma. Get the birthday girl. Come on in, come on in. Happy birthday Happy birthday to you. Look at that, Christopher. Look at it. Are you going to clap your hands? Come on, clap your hands. Come on. I think they'll let you know. Do you think you need help blowing these ones? Yep. 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 Hi, Mom and Dad. Okay, maybe the robbers should go in there and get rid of them. Come on in, Bobby. Can I help you blow a new candle? Sure. Can I help you? Can I help you? No, 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 no,
You want to do that again? Shall I put him back in the chair again? No. Well, I think once is enough. He'll get frustrated, Mom. You can see very well what he was doing. I mean, there's no question of it. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Look at him. He doesn't want anybody standing in front of him. Look at him. Look at him watching how they play. He's cheering on the game. He's so intent, isn't he? Yeah, he's watching what they're doing. Boy, you're going to be playing pool next. He does that with the lights. The we'll watch the oh, I should. Christmas lights I should have these. I was going to plug the lights in. You got any? Plug yeah. the lights in. How do you plug the lights? Plug the. Uh, have to put the uh, plug it in. I know yeah. how you do that. It's going to go in. It's going to any time. You guys need an extension cord? No, we're good. Where did you drop it, Don? What? Oh, did I go? Like yeah, well, I'll do it. In fact, I gotta pick up my lens. Over, you better go in one side. Turn over the other. An extension cord? No, I got that. Mom, do you need an extension cord? No, I got more than. Yay! Yay. Yay. Besides, I gotta pick up my Christmas lights. We have two. I'm not doing it. No, I know. I just want to get rid of them. Don't walk in front of me. Yay! Jennifer. Yay! Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want another one or no? Oh, sure, thank you. Stand by the other one. Not too many because you're going to get some. Um, Jump on the one you're really Oh, Tommy Hodge. Oh. Yeah, you'll get me down the floor here. Let Grandma take this now. Okay. Put them out of the gen a Jenny? Jenny? Do I have one? Sure. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. No, he just wants one more. No, no, no. no. That's okay. See, God, tell me. Jenny, I'm getting up there. No, thank you. Watch that pool cue, you guys, eh? And this one's done, too. What? Well, we have them again, too. No, get it on the floor, please. You're going to get cracked again, okay, Jennifer? You're going to have to get cracked a little bit. Because you want it to get cracked again. Oh, I'm going to have to try the other side. Hey, Christopher. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. You should have known your name when you're called. Yeah. Hi. Next up, Christopher. Hi. Hi. Uh, Watch this, Jennifer.
Just a minute, nice and easy. So we're gonna go to your country now, eh? Hi. What do you say, Lori? Huh? Hi everyone. As you can see from what I'm filming, these are all fish boats and they're parked on a little cove just in from the main arm of the south arm of the Fraser River. The Fraser River has actually three major arms and the south arm being the biggest. This is a very small part of the fishing fleet that comes up here into the river and parks their boat to get away, of course, from the open sea. We live about um, six blocks from here. We're the same area, and I'm sure you're all aware that the Fraser River is stocks in the last few years have been down quite a bit, a lot like what's happening on the east coast. They've been overfished and a lot of pollution. And Off in the background there is the town of Steveson, which was one of the first towns to ever that ever existed on this coast, and it was primarily a fishing town when it was opened up. On the one side, you can see some of the bigger boats here. They're some of the Seine boats that are in this area. There's gill netters and seines and trawlers. I don't see any here right now, but some of the bigger boats and we may see some later on, are the draggers that come and they get a lot of the bottom fish and shrimp and meat. What we're looking at here is a breakwater which is on one side of the main channel of the river. The river goes out here for several miles before it actually gets to the ocean. It's very flat land. Some places it's quite shallow, so the whole area is marked with a lot of buoys all the way out. The far end of this is a big light buoy that marks the beginning of the river, and it's probably about eight miles from here. But there's nothing much in this area except flat land and swamp. A lot of birds and a lot of fish and very, very busy habitat in this area. Along, well, quite a distance from here, way in the background, you can see some islands there, and in all probability, that's the United States. It's kind of hard to determine from here just exactly which one it is. But in Canada, part of the states, the 49th parallel runs very close in here. If I go to the right a little bit, um, which I'm doing right now, and I'll get to about the point here, if we could go in a straight line for about 30 miles, that's where our cabin would be we have in what we call a Gulf Island. In front of me here, you can see the entrance with the little light boys there where the boats come in here into this little harbor from Moorhead. Hey, Bernie, there's your boat, the Bernice Sea. Same little moorage area. There's some of the old canneries. They've now been restored in their historical sites. If you ever come to visit us, well, we'll go through the cannery. We're hoping to entice you to Briti beautiful British Columbia. fish and 
chip restaurant that sits down on the wharf that seems to be extremely popular. Now we're at Gary Point Park, just down from the fishing wharf. Again on the Fraser River. This is a little Japanese garden dedicated to the Japanese. <coughs> Excuse me, it's dedicated to the Japanese who were interned during the Second World War. In the background you again see the Fraser River running into the Pacific Ocean. at Gary Point Park is kite flying.
background behind the haze of cloud is the mountains of North Vancouver and the Vancouver International Airport in the foreground. Okay. Bye for now, Bye everyone. Bye for now, everyone. Come and visit us soon in beautiful British Columbia. On the Pacific Ocean. <laughs>